welcome to this morning's uh, shortened blog. <clears throat> As I said yesterday, it's race day today. It's uh, just left 20 past six in the morning. Uh, I'm on the bypass just, out, just outside Edinburgh, so we've just not long left. And we're heading through towards Kilmarnock, which is where today's race is, the Tour of Ayrshire. Should take about an hour and a half. Um, maybe a little bit longer because we're not in, we're not in any great rush. We're just taking it nice and easy to get there, trying to stay relaxed. Um, but we want to get there early so we can get the the early parking. Uh, go and get signed in, get get uh, get the kit, get the numbers on, and the bike set up, and have a little warm up and what have you, and just just relax and just get ready for the day. Get ourselves in the right mindset. So uh, yeah, I thought I would just uh, check in quickly. Uh, we've just. Just missed a wonderful sunset this morning. I was out on the bike. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the camera with me because it was all packed up. And I left the phone on charge. So, uh, yeah, a beautiful sunset. Today, it's looking like a good spring day. Uh, temperatures through in Kamara, it's going to be between 11 and 13 degrees. So, uh, a decent decent temperature for, for a bike race, uh, especially in Scotland at this time of year. Um, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be a bit windy. Uh, which is not going to help. It's been such a lumpy uh, parkour today, so the winds, the wind could be a factor. Um, Rain-wise, it looks like it's going to be dry, so that's good. Um, I'd much rather have. Actually, do you know what? I'd rather have a bit of rain than wind. Uh, I don't mind the rain. You know, once you're wet, you're wet. So what? Um, but the but the wind obviously saps your strength depending on on which way it's going. So, uh, but yeah, temperature-wise, it's looking good. Rain is looking good, wind, yeah, not the best, but uh, maybe that'll die down by the time we get through there. So, we're here, Kilmarnock. Uh, we've just parked the car. I have to say, Galazzo, that's the guys who are organising today's event. Your signage for the car park, a little bit poor. Um, three times round Kilmarnock City Centre eventually picked up the signs. Once you pick up the signs, it's easy, but you should have had some more signs. Anyway, we're just heading over to the Event HQ. We're going to sign on, uh, present our license, get a number and all that, and then uh, we'll catch up and update you a little bit. Cheers. So, race report to the Vershire. It's taken quite a while to make this video. We are almost a week after the race. Basically, the legs are knackered. That was a tough, tough race. As you can see from the, the little clip, straight out the gate, <coughs> heart rate was up at 91, 95% of max. 
174 beats per minute uh, within the first 20 minutes or so. I was off in the 40 to 44 age group. Um, we went off with the, the two age categories in front, which is the 18 to 34 and the 34 to 39. And I have to say that the group was off like the clappers. I did my best to keep up, um, but I would say within <coughs> 20 minutes, I was gapped off the back, still working as hard as I could uh, to, to pick up wheels. What I found for, for pretty much all of the event was I was either too fast or too slow for people that I was either catching up with or people that were passing me. Picked up another group about an hour into the ride, uh, stuck with them for another hour, which is obviously of benefit. You know, the more you can draft and, and the less energy you can expend, then the better. Um, but the winds were so strong. So in at about the two hour mark, we turned into a crosswind and that really split the group that I was in. There was a group of maybe 20 split us really badly and I battled even out the saddle sprinting uphill um, I battled for a good mile two miles to just to catch that wheel and I was only I was only ever two or three meters off the back but I just I just couldn't just couldn't latch back on fortunately at the top of that climb we then turned and we had the wind at our backs um, so there's a good stretch and you can see again on the little clip maximum speed was 46 miles an hour um, that was a good stretch of road good surface as well I mean some of the surfaces were a little bit sketchy some of it was was fresh tarmac which was nice cracking event I, I shared some time with a guy called Dave from Blackpool thanks Dave we were both struggling at one point but then we, we, we worked together 20 seconds on 20 seconds off and um, just rotating round Sharing the, sharing the workload and we uh, we really made up some time so thanks for that Dave at the end tough long drag up past Loudoun Academy um, great on the way down but then on the way back up wow really fighting with myself having to say come on just get a move on get a move on um, trying to get the best time as possible and then down into the finish in Kilmarnock Tour of Ayrshire great event loved it um, in a weird type 2 fun kind of way, super hard race, I set myself a, a target of 18 miles an hour, I ended up with 18.3, so I'm, I'm happy with that, I lost my group, which is not great, um, I have to say, um, I obviously wanted to compete better than I did, um, but how did we get on, so um, when we crossed the finishing line, we got one of these, little medal. Chrono and Grand Fondo, Tour of Ayrshire, 29th to 30th of April 2017. So this is a finishing medal. And everyone that did this, whether you're in the race category or the sport, got one of them. Um, the goal, obviously, Road to Glory, was all about qualifying for the World Championships in France. So I had to get top 25% on my age bracket. And I have to say, there we go. So, UCI Grand Fondo World Series with the rainbow bands. And that's a qualifying medal right there. So yes, it was tough. I felt. Do you know what? Looking at the figures, I, I you know you would want to have done better, but I feel that I did as as, as best I could on the day. Um, 18.3 miles an hour over a 69 mile course which was pretty lumpy and very extreme winds in places I feel from where I started is a good effort the top guy in my category was actually the overall winner and he was 30 minutes in front of me um, which is which is flying. Um, Alan Bingham is his name. He's a, a very competitive club cyclist um, over in Ireland. And uh, yeah, he, uh, he absolutely annihilated everybody. And uh, so, well, congratulations to him. But at the end of the day, he's got one of these, and so do I. So, onwards and upwards, we now qualify for the World Championships in France, which is an Albi. <laughs> We also have the privilege of buying the GB kit because we obviously represent our country when we go to France. Hello there. 
you want to say hello? Yeah. Hiya. Say hiya. Um, so yeah, we qualify for France. We can uh, purchase the, the, the Great Britain jersey and kit because we now we represent our country. Um, so pretty chuffed with that. The legs, as I say, are completely shredded. We've, we've done very little this week on the bike. Um, the knee especially is very, very sore. We've done you know, quite a lot of the exercises the physio has been giving us. We've done a lot of stretching, a lot of rolling, using the spiky ball, all that type of stuff. Back to work, yeah, which is, oh yeah, back to work, which obviously doesn't help the legs. Racing again Go tomorrow, back, the British back, Eagle race. Back. The link down below to the British Eagle uh, road race recce that I did <coughs> a month ago or so. Oof. So have a look at that. Um, I'll be making obviously another video about tomorrow's race later on. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, then uh, okay, thumbs up. Okay. Uh, let me know your comments down below. Let me know if you if you know if you're watching this video and you qualified. Let me know. Um, if you didn't qualify, uh, sorry that you didn't. Obviously, that was the intention for everyone taking part. Um, congratulations if you did. Congratulations if you didn't. There's always next year. Um, there's always a tour of Cambridgeshire as well, which is a much flatter parkour, um, but will be super fast. Um, quite windy down there as well. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel and. Um, Catch you soon. Cheers.